guy from Barbados. So how do you do long-term decisions? Well, it depends, of course, uh, as you may have learned in an NLP master practitioner, master practitioner, they're toward motivated people that are motivated by what they can attain, by things that go right, or what, or, and they're to, a, a way motivated people that are propelled from what they don't want to have, what they want to move away from, so to speak. I think when you make a decision, you may want to consider how it impacts your life next week, next year, five years from now, ten years from now. Uh, even though you may not know exactly how the circumstances pan out, it will give you a better idea whether you should move forward or not. Even if you're away motivated, I would also future pace yourself in terms of if I keep doing what I'm doing or uh, if I make this decision what negative impact could be in the worst case scenario, what will that be like next week, next year, five years, ten years from now? It will give you a much better idea as to whether you should move forward or not. You may also want to consider the ecology of the whole. How will it impact your finances? How will it impact your career? How will it impact your significant other, your family, your friends? How will it impact your, your personal development or your health, etc.? And that uh, will give you a, a much uh, more conscious um, idea whether you should move forward or not. What I'd like to do in the end, when I'm about to make a decision, I'd also like to, to ask my, let's say, my unconscious mind, well, it's windy over here. I'd like to ask my unconscious mind, am I getting an internal yes or an internal no, or I get nothing or a doubt? I tend to only move forward if it's an absolute internal alignment towards yes, because otherwise it is absolutely no go or give it time and collect information. So bye from uh, sunny Barbados, and I talk to you on the Miami side. God, somebody, it's a rough job, but somebody's got to do it, I guess.